Upon hearing those words and witnessing her actions, the members of the Bennett family stood petrified in shock. Surely, Claire did not have a fever. Could her words mean that she won't be a part of Thanksgiving if Kevin isn't allowed to enter? Claire, are you going to betray your family because of an outsider? Jack questioned with a look. He certainly never expected Claire to utter such brazen words for Kevin's sake. One had to know that Thanksgiving existed as one of the most important activities in the Bennett family. Every time the gathering took place, every member of the Bennett family would have to be present. This was an ironclad rule. Thus, the descendants of the Bennett family who refused to worship their ancestors during the ceremony would be seen as unfilial. If Claire refused to enter the house today, with Patriarch Logan Wright's temper, he would most likely expel Claire from the Wright family. It would be an understatement to describe this matter's nature as being serious. Claire, you should go in. Your cousin is right. This is a traditional gathering only for Wright family. I, who hold the surname Bennett, certainly do not have the qualifications to enter the house, Kevin stated as he held on to Claire by her shoulders. Kevin knew very well that either Claire or Jack had to back down from this matter. Otherwise, both of them would have to face severe punishments. Without a doubt, Claire would receive a much heavier punishment. Kevin naturally did not want to see Claire being expelled from the Wright family because of him. At this moment, he could only step forth and admit his defeat. No matter how much humiliation he had to suffer, no matter how much he would be looked down upon, Kevin was willing to do whatever he could to protect Claire. For her sake, he would even let go of all his dignity. Kevin... Claire muttered softly as her eyes turned red. She naturally understood the reason why Kevin had to compromise. However, the more he acted this way, the more reluctant she became. After all, she could not help but feel sorry for him. All right, I'm going to deliver the takeaway. Come back early tonight, Kevin said as he faked his relaxed tone. After speaking... He turned around and went his way without ever looking back. Even though he was severely humiliated by Jack, Kevin felt surprisingly calm. He was even delighted. After all, Claire had just stated how she would enter the gathering only if he were also allowed to go in. This was the first time that Claire chose to stand by his side in three years. It was the first time she had ever stood up for him. Kevin felt that all the grievances he suffered were worth it upon hearing those words. After delivering all the takeout, Kevin returned home and began preparing dinner. After leaving the Bennett family three years ago, Kevin had to work on his culinary skills to gain Alan Wright's recognition. Thus, he naturally became quite proficient with cooking. According to Alan's words, men who could cook were good men. Kevin managed to leave behind a good impression of himself for Claire at that time. Thus, with Alan's support, he quickly became a son-in-law of the Wright family. After his marriage, however, many contradictions slowly broke out. As time passed, Alan's family business began deteriorating, which naturally caused his value to drop drastically. Since Kevin did not have any talent in business... He could not help Alan whatsoever. Thus, he resorted to delivering takeouts to make his living. With the family business continuing to plummet, Kevin's mother-in-law, Eileen, naturally became more dissatisfied with him. Thus, she often scolded him for being useless and felt that Kevin was unworthy of Claire. From then on, Kevin's life in the Wright family had only ever gone downhill. Had it not been for Kevin, Claire, with her unparalleled beauty, would have no problem marrying into a rich family. Kevin could not refute this as he was an illegitimate child. After all, he had no money and had not received any education. 
Therefore, he could not compare himself to Claire, a beauty who had graduated from a famous university and was even praised as the school beauty during those years. The only thing he could give Claire was his earnest feelings. However, in a society where the strong rule over the weak, sincerity is often considered worthless. After bringing the prepared dishes onto the table, Kevin could not help but feel something was wrong. Usually, Alan and his wife would have already arrived back home at this hour. Why were they so slow today? At this moment, his phone suddenly rang. Kevin, Dad got into a car accident! At that moment, Kevin's expression turned pale. It was indeed Claire's voice on the phone. However, the words that sounded out left him in utter disbelief. My father-in-law got into a car accident? Claire, don't worry. I'm on my way to the hospital right now. Kevin hurriedly comforted her before hanging up the phone. He then immediately rode his electric bike to the hospital. Kevin found that Claire was still sitting on a bench, crying silently when he arrived at the hospital. On the other hand, his mother-in-law, Eileen, walked back and forth in front of the emergency room. What's going on? Kevin asked anxiously as he walked toward Claire. Before Claire could say anything, Eileen walked over and slapped Kevin. Kevin's face instantly seared with pain. You still dare to ask what's going on? Eileen shouted as her face rose with anger. You useless brat! Where did you go this afternoon? Why did you not pick Alan up from work today? Kevin stood petrified in shock. Normally, he would be the one to drive Alan home after work. Alan once injured his leg and could not drive properly ever since. Even after Alan was out of the Thanksgiving, he did not give Kevin a call. Kevin thought that Alan would not be coming back today and forgot about picking him up. Mom, I'm sorry, Kevin said apologetically. Although the accident did not happen because of him, he should have paid closer attention to Alan. Shove that sorry up your ass! Don't you dare say that word! Is your apology doing any good to me? You worthless brat! You married into my family for three years, yet you have accomplished absolutely nothing! Eileen said hysterically as her mood crumbled. If anything serious happens to Alan this time, you better divorce my daughter and get the hell out of my family! Eileen's voice echoed through the halls and attracted the attention of many people. But at this moment, Kevin could not care about losing face. Alan was not only his father-in-law, but also his savior. Kevin would not let anything happen to him. Who is the patient's family member? The doctor suddenly walked over and asked. I am. Eileen and Claire hurriedly went up to greet him. The patient is currently suffering from massive internal bleeding. The condition is very serious and requires immediate surgery, the middle-aged doctor said with a solemn tone. Eileen heard those words and nearly fainted on the spot as her vision darkened. Claire's expression turned bleach pale as if she had just seen a ghost. The surgery will be expensive, and the patient is not covered under any insurance, the doctor said. Doctor, please... Arrange the surgery as soon as possible. We can accept whatever the cost is, Kevin said. All right, sign your name first. After doing so, pay the surgery fee over at the payment office. As the middle-aged doctor spoke, he took out an agreement. Kevin then signed his name on it. However, glancing through the surgery fees, Kevin's pupils contracted in shock. $50,000? This was an astronomical figure. Which surgery in this world required $50,000 to perform? At that moment, 
Kevin felt that something was amiss. With Alan's current financial situation, not to mention $50,000, even $500 would be a strain on him. Could they have made a mistake in their calculation for the surgery fee? Kevin arrived at the payment office and hoped for that possibility. But after asking at the payment office, the staff confirmed that there was nothing wrong with the surgery fee. $50,000. Kevin's heart sank immediately. Since he worked as a takeout delivery man, he would only be paid $1,200. Thus, he never imagined he would have to spend $50,000 all at once. Furthermore, Claire's current condition was extremely serious. It was already too late to transfer him to another hospital. Where would he even go to find the money? Even if he asked for help from someone, would they even lend such a ridiculous amount to him? Kevin was getting more and more frustrated by the second. Never had he felt that money was so important. Young man. A familiar voice suddenly sounded from behind him. Kevin immediately turned around, only to meet the gaze of Bob Pierce, who was looking at him with a smile. In that split second, Kevin finally pieced the puzzle together. You were the one responsible? Kevin shouted as he clenched his fists in anger. At this moment, even an idiot would be able to discern that Bob was the one responsible for this accident. The sudden car accident. The absurd surgery fee of $50,000. Every step was meticulously calculated. This was all to make him return to the Bennett family. Bob shook his head and said with a smile, Kevin, what are you talking about? I don't seem to understand. Thump. Before Bob could even finish his words, Kevin had already thrown a vicious jab at his face, resulting in a sudden burst of blood from the old man's nose. Hey all, Kevin here. Can't wait for you to watch my story, The Billionaire Bastard. Season 1 is now streaming on the Pocket FM Universe YouTube channel. To watch the next episode, tap here, and to watch the full season, click on the playlist.